And then you go to the main roster and like, you want to talk about momentum going away. Like, geez, were you as shocked as everybody else was? Uh, I think, um, I don't know. I think everyone else was really shocked. (laughs) And I think everyone else was just like pissed off too. Yeah, they were really angry. Um, And I I felt that coming too. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I can really say about it. It's like, uh, we all kind of, I mean, trust me, we were all, all of us, me, you, and everybody, even though I was living it, we were all watching the same thing and kind of going like, what is going on here? You know, um, I, I, in my thought process was like, because the ideas and concepts were introduced to me, that there would be this master plan behind it. Because you got to understand from my point of view, look at the guys I've been working with. They're all incredible. And yeah. being in the machine, you know, even management, writers, everybody, medical team. Um, I was just used to a certain type of premeditated energy, you know? And so I assumed with this, it would be there tenfold because it's the flagship show. So I had reservations about how far this was going to go and what would wind up happening to me. But in the beginning, I was trying to be optimistic and I was like, Hopefully there's, there's wheels on this thing and people plan to, you know, do something with it that, you know, had some sort of extension of continuity of what people were watching because continuity is very important for wrestling and storytelling. Yeah. Do they assume that when you go to the main roster that the general fan base isn't familiar with your previous work? Is, is that what the consensus is? Um, I can't say exactly what the overall consensus is because I feel like the consensus is different between each person. Everyone has their own opinion or perception or their own comprehension or conceptualization of what's happening when a person transitions from NXT to Raw. But um, I mean, I'm sure some people feel that way. Yeah, I mean, so debut match against Jeff Hardy, awesome. And then you're supposed to have like, I think it's 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Also awesome. Yes. And then out of nowhere, it gets cut down to 90 seconds while you're standing in the ring. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, just, uh, yeah, just unusual. I mean, it's easy work, right? But I mean, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather, most of us would rather have a 10 out of 10 match than, than easy work. I mean, easy work's available anywhere, any walk of life, you know? Yeah. So, but that that happens you know what i mean <laughs> it happens unfortunately it happened to me um and i just was hoping that jeff and i were going to get a launch from the program him and i worked a lot of, um we worked a few house shows actually i should say and we got our time and man being able to maestro the audience especially with jeff and we were working mm-hmm. in the carolinas at the time that was amazing and, and being able to have that time that we wish we would have gotten for television um i wish more people got to see it but yeah. had people gotten to, and if we, if him and I got to go to Extreme Rules, and we had our TLC match, oh, we both wanted it. We both wanted it. We would have showed you guys something you haven't seen in a long time. Mm. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my CVV Clips channel. If you haven't subscribed yet. I'd be so grateful if you could do that right now. Don't worry, the main channel is not going anywhere. We've got full in-depth interviews on the Chris Van Vliet channel. CVV Clips is for exactly that, clips from those longer interviews.